hello and welcome back to the master civil engineering in this video you will learn that how to calculate the length of transition curve according to the irc method i have been given a question which states that we have to calculate the length of uh, the transition curve and the shift of the transition curve using the following data design speed for our road is this is 60 kilometers per hour radius of circular curve is 200 meter payment width including extra widening this is 7.5 meter and allowable rate of introduction of super elevation when we are rotating the payment about the center line this is 1 in 150 okay so first uh, uh, given information design speed this is v uh, equal to 60 kilometers per hour or 16.67 meter per second radius of circular curve this is 200 meter payment width including extra widening this is b equal to 7.5 meter and rate of introduction of super elevation which is denoted by n is 1 in 150 okay according to the irc length of the transition curve for the design this should be the highest of the three methods the first one is the based on the allowable rate of change of the centrifugal acceleration second one is the based on the allowable rate of change of super elevation and third one is the minimum required uh, value as per the IRC's empirical formula. First, we will find the length of the transition curve based on the allowable rate of change of the centrifugal acceleration. Okay, so allowable rate of change of the centrifugal acceleration. This is given as C equal to 80 divided by 75 plus V, where this V is the value of design speed in kilometers per hour, not in meter per second. Okay. So putting uh, value of V, we get the value of C equal to 80 divided by 75 plus 60, which is equal to 0 0.59 meter per second cube. This is the value of allowable rate of change of centrifugal acceleration. The limit for the uh, this allowable rate of change of centrifugal acceleration is between 0 0.5 to 0 0.8. Minimum is 0 0.5 and maximum is 0 0.8. Since our value falls between 0 0.5 and 0 0.8, so it is accepted okay so we are taking the value of c equal to 0 0.59 length of transition curve uh, according to the allowable rate of change of the centrifugal acceleration this is given as v cube divided by c by into r okay value of v is the design speed which is 16.67 meter per second okay c is 0 0.59 and radius of the curve is 200 meter this gives me the value of length of transition curve according to the allowable rate of change of centrifugal acceleration as 39.26 meter okay next we will find the length of the transition curve based on the allowable rate of change of super elevation since we don't know the super elevation so first we will find the super elevation for this road first you will calculate the super elevation for the 75 percent of the design speed according to the irc so super elevation according to the 75 percent of the design speed and neglecting this uh, lateral friction this is equal to e equal 0 0.75 v whole square divided by g into r v is the design speed g is the acceleration due to the gravity and r is the radius of the curve okay so uh, value of e will be 0 0.75 into 16.67 whole square divided by 9.81 in 200 this is equal to 0 0.08 but the value of uh, super elevation uh, that is a maximum allowable rate this is 0 0.07 since our value exceeds this value so we will take the limit of e equal to 0 0.07 okay uh, after this uh, we will find uh, the safety of the vehicle against the transverse uh, skidding for the uh, design speed okay so value of uh, friction coefficient for the design speed will be v square divided by uh, g into r minus e which is 0 0.07 so value of f this will be 16.67 whole square divided by 9.81 into 200 minus 0 0.07 which is equal to 0 0.071 this is the value of uh, this coefficient of friction for the design speed the limit for the maximum value of this friction coefficient this is 0 0.15 since our value is less than 0 0.15 so it means this the uh, allowable rate of super elevation of 0 0.07 this is safe for the design speed okay because the vehicles are safe for the lateral skidding so we will take the value of super elevation as 0 0.07 now the total width of the payment at the curve this is uh, given the question as 7.5 meter if we rotate uh, the payment about the center line the total raise of the payment this will be e multiplied by 
uh, width of the payment divided by 2 you can see in this figure okay if I rotate the payment about the center line uh, the outer edge will be raised by e by 2 and inner edge will be depressed by e by 2 and if I rotate the payment about the inner edge the outer edge raise will be e okay and inner edge uh, raise will be 0 since we are rotating about the center line so total raise for my payment uh, uh, will be e by 2 e is the super elevation b is the width of the payment okay and if you divide it by 2 you will get the total raise of the outer edge of the payment with respect to the center line since our value of super elevation is 0 0.07 uh, width of payment is 7.5 so total raise will be 0 0.263 meter okay rate of introduction of super elevation this is given as uh, in the question as 1 in 150 okay so length of the transition curve according to the allowable rate of change of super elevation this is given as e multiplied by n divided by 2 okay e by 2 is the total raise of the payment about the center line so total raise of payment about the center line is 0 0.263 okay okay and rate of uh, change is uh, uh, 1 in 150 or 150 so uh, length of the transition curve according to the allowable rate of change of super elevation this will be equal 39.5 meter okay now length uh, according to the third case that is according to the empirical formula of the IRC this is equal to 2.7 multiplied by v square divided by r where this v is the value of design speed in kilometers per hour not in meter per second so value of length of transition curve according to the empirical method will be 2.7 multiplied by 60 uh, whole square divided by 200 which is 48.6 meter okay now According to the IRC, length of transition curve should be the highest of the three methods. Based on the allowable rate of change of uh, centrifugal acceleration, uh, length of transition curve is 39.26 meter. Based on the allowable rate of change of super elevation, length of transition curve is 39.5 meter. And the minimum required value as per the empirical formula is 48.6 meter. We can see that is the third case governs, that is the length of the transition curve, uh, design length of the transition curve. This will be uh, the highest of the above three which is 48.6 meter or approximately 49 meter will be the length of our transition curve okay after that the shift of the transition curve this is given as uh, length of the transition curve square uh, divided by 24 into r so it will be 49 square divided by 24 into 200 which is equal to 0 0.5 meter will be the shift of the transition curve okay so this is how you can calculate the length of uh, the transition curve according to the irc method i hope this solution video was clear and effective and you definitely learn something new from this video if you found this uh, solution video helpful you can subscribe to my channel and share this video thanks for watching and stay tuned